सो वेलकम बैक एवरीबडी वेलकम टू आर चैनल अगेन सो टुडे आई गोन स्टार्ट अ न्यू टॉपिक ऑफ मशीन लर्निंग वी कॉल दिस एज मॉडर रिप्रेजेंटेशन इट इज यूज वेरी मच इन मोस्ट ऑफ द एल्गोरिथम्स वी यूज इट इन दाइपोथिस फंक्शन इन लीनियर रिग्रेशन एंड ऑल्सो मैनी मच मोर इट इज अ वेरी गुड एक्सप्रेशन टू रिप्रेजेंट आर डेटा इन अ फॉर्म ऑफ मॉडल्स सो लेट्स बिगेन सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल बिफोर वी बिगेन आई हैव अ रिक्वेस्ट फॉर यू दिस इज माई इंस्टाग्राम आई डी सो प्लीज काइंडली फॉलो मी देयर एंड दिस इज आर यूट्यूब चैनल थैंक्स फॉर योर सपोर्ट टू रीच दिस माइल स्टोन आई वुड लाइक टू थैंक एवरी वन हु हैव सपोर्टेड मी एंड प्लीज काइंडली वॉच दीज वीडियोज टू सो दैट यू गेट अ बेटर अंडरस्टैंडिंग वट आई एम गोइंग टीच टूडे सॉरी सो लेट्स बिगेन सो दिस इज मॉडल रिप्रेजेंटेशन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई विल गिव यू सम नोटेशन फॉर फ्यूचर यूज सो दिस इज एक्स सुपर स्क्रिप्ट आई I will denote this as an input variable. So, example x superscript one to represent the first input variable. These are also called input features. The features which we use in our algorithm to give the input, and the y i is used to denote the output or target variable that we will be going to predict. maybe the price of a house or price of a car a pair of both is called training examples what i mean by that there is a training examples like for example if i have a data of 200 acres of a house cost maybe 2 million dollar 3 million dollars so where that 200 acre of land is xi or x superscript 1 and the cost of 2 million 5 million 10 million maybe anything else because 200 acre is a lot of land so that will represent our y i y1 or y superscript i is our tra training examples and the database data set that we will begin to learn is a list of m examples where we have to change the value of i from 1 to m and it is called a training set which we use in our algorithm to train our algorithm so so note that the i is the notation in simple and index into the training set it is a index to represent a specific position at a, in our training set what i mean by that is that i have think Hundred examples. So, if I have a hundred of examples, say one hundred examples, then the first one, if I equals to one. Sorry for the slow writing because I am using my touchpad. My mouse has been broken. So here, I is equals to one represents the first example. and i equals to 2 represents the second one so this how this works so let me raise that to get a better view of this slide so do not worry about the notes i will provide all the notes as a pdf form so now let's move on so it doesn't have to do anything with exponential so do not think it as a exponential that x to the power this it is simply a notation to represent a index in a training set now we will also use x to denote the space of input variables and y to denote space of output values and in this example here x and y will be equal because the number of x example inputs will give y num same number of outputs like i have a 10 inputs then they will give 10 output prices 
of a say a land or 10 10 different lands so here x will be this whole xi this will represent the whole xi wait a minute this will be good so x i superscript i this whole data will represent the capital x term here and similarly with the y so wait a minute so we have done till here so let's move on to describe the supervised learning problem slightly more formally our goal is to give a training set for example to learn a function h x to the y that means input to output mapping so that h x is a good predictor for the corresponding value of y that what i mean by that is h of x is a function we call this as hypothesis function which we use to map from x to y and here we give it a value x and it find out the value of y what should it be look like for historical reasons this function h is called hypothesis which i have taught earlier sin pictorial this is a pictorial representation of this we give it a training set to our learning algorithm and then it gives us a as a function from where we have this x and we give which gives y so this is from input to output mapping a good example of that so when the target variable that we are trying to predict is continuous such as our housing prices example where we where the price changes continuously for different values we call the learning pro problem a regression problem where we change where the output changes as the variable changes when y can take on only a small number of discrete values such as a living area we want to predict if dwelling is a house on an apartment say which what I mean by that is that uh, for another example let's take the case of a cancer we try to find out that it is a breast cancer or skin cancer in both the cases we have two options whether it will be 0 or 1 0 for the breast cancer 1 for the skin cancer so this is called classification problem as I have taught earlier in the supervised learning So let's move on. Wait a minute. Okay. So let's move on and take an example where we have a price in dollars and size in feet squares. Let me just one minute. So this is our example where for 200 square feet it gives something like this value about 250 it has some problem so please do not mind I will it will be okay for next time say 250 K so here the price is this but what happen if we have some other feature like uh, we can say about number of bedrooms so I represent it by B number of bedrooms or we can say that number of floors so I represent th that by F so number of floors how many floors are there so that gives an another value so how our function will look like it will be a straight line like this wait a minute so it will look like something like this a straight line it will give a straight line that will be mostly like this yes so this is a good example to know about how we represent our data here so let me just delete that wait, wait a minute now it will be okay so this is our house prediction where for different values we have different prices 
and that depend on multiple features we can add multiple features that will be seen in linear regression with multiple problem multiple features so that will be another topic for another day so let's move on say we have a training set of housing price in india say we have for india so for sizes prices are different so let's say 2104 feet squares we have price of 460k and where m represent the number of training examples and x represents the input variable or feature this is x our input variable and this is y our out output variable so this was that now here is our training set and our learning algorithm so here x to y mapping or a hypothesis function is that this is so how do we represent h so h is actually a linear we can say that a linear equation so linear regression wait a minute linear regression with one variable unvariate linear regression unvariate means here one wait a minute one o n e one variable so this is one variable let me write this one variable linear regression problem so this was for today i will see you in the next video so thanks for today see you in the next video